Hi, everyone. I'm John Zingali. Uh, I've been teaching here at uh, Vancouver Eye Tech Preparatory. This is the end of my fifth year. Um, and something that we wanted to showcase not only to our students so they can understand where they live, but we wanted to share that history with the world. So I approached them um, with a virtual reality project two years ago, and we essentially created uh, our Fever project, Fort Vancouver Virtual Reality, FVPR. And that became uh, the project two years ago where we created the virtual reality tour of the, of the park. We wanted to answer a problem for, for the fort. And their biggest thing is as a museum, they only have about 2% of the artifacts on display. Um, that's, that's the most like usually any museum really does. And so they wanted to showcase other artifacts, but didn't have the means to do it. And that's where um, I came in. And so our idea was to create this digital virtual museum. They gave us over 100, about 120 uh, different artifacts that were over 160 to 190 years old. Um, we taught our students, our middle school students, our seventh and eighth graders. Like, people were like, seventh and eighth graders can handle that? Yes, they can. Each student got their own artifact that they created a 3D scan of using the uh, iPad app clone, which does uh, photogrammetry for us on a rather easier scale. It really um, democratizes making uh, 3D scanning available to everyone. But our students then analyzed those artifacts and were able to create this digital museum that we then um, hosted on Sketchfab. Um, and then we um, used awesome tables to actually create a, our own metadata and have our own searchable uh, museum on our website uh, itechfever.org. But the great thing is with Merge Cube, now those objects are also, you can hold them in your hand. We are now able to upload that artifact to the uh, object uploader and you can now hold that artifact in the palm of your hand. And so something that is extremely delicate and needs to be kept in temperature, temperature controlled areas, you can now hold in your hand and look at the differences and, and look at that object um, as it would be on display at a museum. The virtual museum has been seen in across the United States, across Canada and in, and in about 17 other countries. So people across the United States and across the world are experiencing our city and learning from our middle school students and uh, they get to write that on their resume as they apply for colleges, which is phenomenal.